We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Texas Rangers and the Colorado Rockies. Stepping up now, Elvis Andrews. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Waiting on it is Dahl. One out. So next to the plate for Texas, Matt Duffy. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. The 1-1. One, one. Here's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats, out of play. It's one and two. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Set to get his evening at the plate started, Willie Calhoun. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Ready to deliver the one and two. And a half hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. Riding into the box, Rymel Tapia. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 1-1 home. Ball two. Two balls, one strike. Liner towards second. And a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. To the plate now, Daniel Murphy. Wisely lays off the cut fastball there. It's two and one. Huber is coming up on a nice milestone in his career. He's just a small handful of victories away from 100 in his time at the major league level. Here's a look over to first, and the runner back safely. Working for the punch out and the offering. And another foul ball. Ready with the two and two. Is swung on and driven out to right center field. A ball that's well hit. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And this one will bounce into the wall. And the run will score as the Rockies stake themselves to an early 1 0 lead. That is cool. At the plate, Nolan Arenado had nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep into the bleachers and gone. You could tell by the sound of that one off the bat that was going a long way. Standing in now, Charlie Blackman. One one pitch and a good sinker there, but he can't find the zone two and one. To me, it looks like he just doesn't trust himself out there on the mound. It's like he's fighting his body on every pitch, and as a result, we're seeing a lot of balls from him early on in this game. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. And the sinking fastball called strike three, and that's out number one. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And into bat next will be the outfielder, David Dahl. Yank high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. Three runs already home here. To two balls and two strikes now. High 
high fly ball out to straightaway center. Center fielder on the run. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to get to that one. Two gone now. Striding in for the Rockies, Trevor Story, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Lifted in the air to center. Santana is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Second inning set to go. Next to bat will be the Texas cleanup hitter, Joey Gallo. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Counts even two and two to Joey Gallo. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Gloved by Murphy. And he'll take this to the bag himself. And the leadoff man set down to start the second. Up next for the Rangers, Danny Santana. He was one for three in the ball game back on Sunday. Into the corner and slicing foul. Here's the one and two delivery. Bases are empty, one man out. A swing and a miss. He struck him out, and it's two up, two down to start the second. That is good. Into the box the now, Ronald Guzman. Ronald He's ready for his Guzman. first at bat of this early season contest. A two and one count to the Rangers' first baseman. Too high that time, and it's three and one. Three ball count right now. This looks like the best chance of getting a base runner on so far. Gets him to swing and miss there. Three and two. When you get yourself to a 3-1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. That gets down and the inning will continue. At the plate now, Robinson Chirinos. High in the air down the right field line. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. And that'll bring in Garrett Hampson. He's ready for his first at-bat of this early season contest. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later ball, innings. A ball and two strikes now. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first down. In now for Colorado, Dom Nunez. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Center fielder on the run. He gets there, and that's the second out. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Herman Marquez. Two out, nobody on. Grounded to the right. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. But they'll still manage to get the out on the force. And with that fine play, the inning comes to an end. Stepping up to the plate, Rugnit Odor. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. The 1-1. One, one. Strike two, swinging. One and two. Ball two. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. 
And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. So here now is the pitcher, Corey Kluber. And they'll indeed have the pitcher squaring around as he puts this one down. To second for one, back to Murphy, and they get them both. Here's Elvis Andrus now. He flied out leading off the ball game. Bases are empty here with two men out. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with a bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But, hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. Waiting on it is Tapia. And that's the third out. Bottom of the third now. In now, Rymel Tapia. He reached on a single in his first try. Swing and a miss on the sinker, and it's one and two. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. The count now at two and two. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. Down the third baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Hit in the air to shallow center. Long run for the center fielder. But he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. Into the box now. Daniel Murphy to short. Andrus fields it cleanly. Odor. To first and Guzman to complete the double play. So base is empty now after the double play. And Nolan. digging in is the big time power threat, Nolan Arenado. Now the one and one pitch. You know, what I'm seeing here is a reluctance to throw the fastball. It's like he feels he can't throw the ball right by him right now. All even now, two and two. Two out, nobody on. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Protecting with two strikes, went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. He spoils another one, and will do it again. And now a sinker is in tight and low as well. It's ball four. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And that'll bring up Charlie Blackman. The 1-1 home. Ball grounded toward Odor at second. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Now in the box, Matt Duffy, as we begin the top of the fourth. The one two. Oh, that pitch is up. Come on, Drew. He stays alive, still two and two. Lofted in the air out toward right center. On the run is Tapia, but he won't get to it, and this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. The left fielder, number five, Willie Calhoun. In now, Willie Calhoun. Two and two. Duffy stands at second with no outs. And he struck him out. One gone in the Texas fourth. And up to bat next, the left-handed light tower power of Joey Gallo. The 1-1. Taken. Strike two. 
No runs, two hits, and no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. Ball. Breaking ball called just a bit low. The stand alive putting together a really good at bat here. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Settling in now, Danny Santana, runner in scoring position with two gone. The 1 1 home. High fly ball out to straightaway center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Now at the plate, David Dahl flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. The 1 1 home. Bounced on the ground and right at the shifted infielders. And that's the first out. So striding forward now, Trevor Story. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Maddie. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it with this guy's big power. Oh, it takes a nasty hop, and he's unable to haul it in. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Now batting. Number one. He's going. The plate now, Garrett Hampson. In the dirt, and now let's see. Oh, and this is low, and it won't be dug out, so he picked the right pitch to run on there, and he's in at second base with a stolen bag. And he lays off again, ball three. Three runs, five hits, no errors in the ballgame for the Rockies thus far. Fouled off. He's set. Here's the three and two. And that misses nope. ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that, that could get them out of the inning. God. Two and two to the Colorado catcher. Having a hard time putting this hitter away here. And when I was looking at the tape on him from his last start, this is what I saw a lot of. He's not closing the door on guys. And, and when that's the case, they eventually get a pitch that they can do something with. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Herman Marquez. He got on top of one and was a ground-out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, and it looked like a sinker in his last A-B that got him to roll over. Kind of similar situation right here, similar stuff on the mound. Look for them to try and get him to do exactly the same thing as his last thing. Oh, what a stop on the slide. There's one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. Now to the plate, Ronald Guzman. He singled his last time up. The 3-1. Is swung on and missed, and that's a full count now. Three balls and two strikes. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel to that one. Lifted the other way to left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And a good start to the inning for the Rangers. It's going to be a leadoff double. Now back. Robinson. At the plate, Robinson Chirinos in the dirt, but swung on and missed. And he makes the throw to first. Chirinos is retired, and there's one away. Here's Rognet Odor now. Reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Runner at second here with one man out. Two and one. In there, and it's even now, two and two. two, and two. Open to send him packing, pitch on its way, and it's fouled away. 
Now another 2-2. Two -two. One out and a runner on second base. Out in front of that one. May have been looking fastball. Good job just to make contact. The next 3-2. Popped up. Hampson is under it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. And now it's the Rangers pitcher, Corey Kluber. Corey Kluber. A 1-1. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Rymel Tapia. Last time through was a base hit. Able to protect the plate with two strikes, and he'll see another one. The one two. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Here's the pitch. Well, I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. He might have tried to do a little bit too much with it, trying to get him to swing through it, but it just ended up taking off on him. In the air, down the line, and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. High in the air out to center field. Santana is there and he has it for the first out. So the base is empty here with one away. And up next, postseason record holder Daniel Murphy. Fouled away. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Santana is there now and he has it two gone. And that'll bring in now Nolan Arenado. It was a walk play. in his last Nolan. trip. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. That's ball three. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. Full count now, three and two. Frozen on strike three for the final out of the inning. Top half of the sixth about to get started. So Elvis Andres the next to bat. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Two balls and a strike to the Rangers' leadoff hitter. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Three and one to him now. And he fouls this one off. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four. So the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. Number four. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And that means the corner infielder Matt Duffy will bet next. Now the 2-1 pitch. Hard liner but picked up on a hop. One there. On to first. A double play. And here's the former prize Dodger prospect Willie Calhoun. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. You know, over the course of a full season, you're going to have some clunkers, and this certainly looks like one. By the look on the manager's face, he's going to probably call a meeting after this. Three and two now. Joey Gallo would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Fastball swung on and grounded out towards second. Fielded cleanly. 
throw to Murphy will take care of him, and that'll end the inning. Brett Martin enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Now pitching for Texas. Number 59. Brett. And that'll bring in Charlie Blackman. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Fly ball right down the line in left. But this will land untouched. So a full count now. Line toward the alley in left center. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. So now to the plate, David Dahl. Two and one to David Dahl. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. Looking up is the right fielder. Gone. At the plate now, Trevor Story. Back up the middle. And Andrus will not be able to get there. It's a base hit. Now battle. Number one. Stepping in now, Garrett Hampson. I got three and one. Three and one. One strike. Hit in the air out to straightaway left field. On the run is Calhoun. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. So coming to the plate, Dom Nunez. It was a walk in his last trip. Still only one out in the inning. Now a move over to first, and he'll dive back in. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Folds off on the slider, and that's a now good idea him. as it's ball no four. Hit him off. Now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. To second for one. Throw on to first. Won't be in time, so they just get the one there. So the lineup clips over and digging in. Rymel Tapia. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. The one and two pitch. Weak grounder back to the mound. And the off balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. Here's Joey Gallo now. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Man, this guy's had their number all game long. Up, down, in and out. He's pitching very well. Three and one to him now. Swing and a miss, and the count goes full. Three and two. Well, obviously, somebody was hooting with the Owls last night. This entire roster, they've showed up for the first game of this road trip and are getting absolutely boat raced. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Joey Gallo has retired to start out the seventh. Fly ball heading for the alley. Blackman's after it, but he's not going to get this one. It's into the gap. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. Now batting the first base, Ronald Dubois. 
Into the box now. Ronald Guzman. A ball and two strikes. Down the first baseline. A dive and oh he can't hang on. Only play will be to the pitcher covering and the runner will advance to third now. At the plate, Robinson Chirinos. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see. There's a swing and a ball hit in the air and a ball that he got every stitch of as that one, without a doubt, is gone. Not every home run is exactly the same. That ball was absolutely destroyed. Your attention, please. So they'll make a matchup move here and bring on a southpaw to face the left-handed hitter due up. Standing in now, Rugnet Odor, and right into the shift. A full count for Odor, three balls and two strikes. You know, you don't always have to straight challenge a guy on a 3-2 count. With the three-run lead, no one on base. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Colby Allard will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Nick Solak will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. The 3 1. Nick Solak. Hit high but foul as that'll get in amongst the fans. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Center fielder on the run. Reaches out. Oh, no, he dropped it. Digging in now, Nolan Arenado. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Hit pretty well out to deep center field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Charlie Blackman. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. Here it comes on one and one. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. And there's the good curveball as he set down on strikes for the second time here tonight. And that'll bring up the speedy outfielder David Dahl. And he's coming off a two-run homer his last time around. A 1-1. Misses for the second ball. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. 5-2 our score as we play inning number seven. Breaking pitch, and this bounces in front of the catcher. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Sent on the ground out to second. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Throw on to first, and that error won't come back to haunt him after all as the inning is over. Standing in, Nick Solak. He'll start us off in the eighth. Now the one and one pitch. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. Now battle. Football. Elder. Andrew. At the plate, Elvis Andrews. 
hit weakly back to the mound. And that's out number one. So a runner stands at third. One man is out. And that means the corner infielder Matt Duffy will bet next. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Not much he could do with that one. Tied him up in knots. Two balls and two strikes to Duffy. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. Hit hard on the ground is short. Story brings it in. Throw will get him for the second out, but meanwhile, the run is in to score from third. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Willie Calhoun in his career against this pitcher. He's hitless in three at-bats. Now the payoff pitch home. Got him swinging in the dirt. Nunez finds it, and the throw to first ends the inning. Jesse Chavez is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 30, Jesse. And that brings in the power hitting shortstop Trevor Story. He's looking for hit number three here in this at bat. Here's the 2 1 home. And there's a base hit on the line. Now that number one. Into the box, Garrett Hampson. Hit swung on and missed the throw. He's well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. in the air down the right field line and foul he got a mistake right there but missed it can't foul that pitch off in a big spot 0 2 count heater caught too much of the zone a swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone and there's one away digging in once again three. Dom Nunez it was a walk in his last trip now a pickoff play at second and a dive, but he's back in there. Runner at second here with one man out. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Fastball here misses low, and it's back to even now at two and two. Speed pitch just missed inside. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. And he takes ball four again, and they clearly just don't want any part of him in this one. One and two. The count is one and two. There's a breaking ball that he didn't quite get on top of. Got him looking with the fastball as that had some two seam movement to it. Two gone. The batter. Now at the plate, Rymel Tapia. He was a ground out victim last time up. The 1 1 is a fastball swung on and missed. Hey, that's a well executed pitch right there. That might have started middle, but you saw it breaking away to that outer part of the zone. This left handed batter right here has got two decisions to make. Is he going to ground out to second base all day? It's through. Let's see if they send him around to try to score. They're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second. The first baseman, number nine, Daniel. 
So now to the plate. Daniel Murphy on the ground back up the box and it'll get through into center field a base hit and this gets right through him and that may be a run and they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. Cody Allen trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. To the plate now Nolan Arenado fouled off. The next one two pitch and he popped him up back into foul territory behind first and no one will track it down. The one and two pitch two down runners at first and second. Another one sent foul. He'll try again one two. And he struck him out so he was forced to make nine pitches that at bat but he'll take it as the inning is over. Carlos Estevez comes on from the pen hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. So that brings up the big bat of Joey Gallo. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Now better. Digging in the switch hitter, Danny Santana. He came across to score after doubling in his last at bat. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next AB. A swing and a miss for route number two, and a ball he had no chance of making contact with. To the ring field. Now batting Ronald Guzman and he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. And he misses two and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hard hit ball to second. A dive and he knocks it down. And the recovery will not be in time at first and the inning will continue following the infield single. Stepping in now, Robinson Chirinos skied into straightaway right. Blackman is under it. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Well, in a quick series like this, you take the first one, you're guaranteed at least a split. They'll take that every single time. And tonight's final, 7-3. to three. The Rockies hosted a three-run first to propel them to the win. Herman Marquez earns his first win of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. for our ballgame play for the victorious Rockies. Seven runs, 11 hits. No errors. They left nine runners on base. For the Rangers, three runs on seven hits. One error. They left four men on base. Time of the ball game: three hours and 17 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.